Namaste Yogi family, my name is Lee May and welcome to your 60 minute vinyasa flow. Today we're going to move through some creative poses and some creative sequences and so if anything doesn't feel right in your body, just modify as needed or make it up, just do what feels good. So we'll start on our backs, on our back. Just hugging the knees in towards the chest. And do some knee circles, just release the lower back and the hips. Take some deep, calm breaths into the body, filling up the belly, the chest. Reverse the direction if you haven't already. And then do a final hug from the knees in. Feet down, palms facing towards the earth. And we'll just feel the length of the spine along the mat. Nice long neck, chin gently in towards the chest. And we'll just do some, some pulses. So just Move your hips ever so slightly, rocking them back and forth, just allowing the head to be nice and loose, just finding some release in the whole spine. Rocking, undulating movements can be very calming and releasing for the whole nervous system. Draw the right knee towards the chest and take the left leg nice and long. Engaging through the center, moving the chest and the left leg up. Engaging through the core, chin towards the chest and then reaching out your hands, palms facing each other. Kick the heel away and extend that right leg up. And then you take both hands on the outside of the right thigh for one, for two, for three, for four, and for five. Bending the right knee, releasing the left leg down. Guide that right knee across the body with your left hand and just a spine twist. Right arm is out long. Really kick through that left heel as you breathe. Feeling that gentle, releasing full body twist. Maybe you're looking towards that right arm. And bring the knees back in. Take the soles of the feet together. Allow them to rest on the mat, knees wide. And take your hands and your elbows. Lift them up above the head and rest them down on the earth. Breathe into your armpits, breathe into your chest, and find some softness in those shoulders. Release, other side, and the left knee in towards you, right leg is long. When you're ready, engage through the fire of the belly to lift the chest. And lift that right leg, chin to chest. Extend those arms, palms face each other. Extend the left leg. Connect the palms, take them long and straight on the outside of the left thigh. And pulse for three. For two. And one. We release. Bend the left knee. Take the left knee across the body with the right hand. Shoot out through that right heel and turn towards the left side. And lengthen the left side of the body for three. Big deep breaths for two. And one. Back to center. Again, connecting the feet. Knees wide. Vakonasana. Heels to the mat. Relax through the belly, relaxing through those hips, and 
take the hands and the elbows once more up above the head. Three deep breaths into the back of the heart. Spine. And then we'll come over the feet and find a kneeling position on our shins. Palms face down, roll the shoulders back and down. Find a long straight spine. And then just gently take the top of your right knee and make sure that the top of the foot is tucked under. And as you gently lean back to see if you can find a stretch across the front of that right shin and right foot. And then gently release it down, left side, cupping the left knee, gently pulling and leaning to find a stretch across the left side. Not too much force, just to feel the opening. Back down one more on the right, one more on the left, really shifting the weight forward and back. And then see if we can do both knees together. And release. Interlacing the hands and the elbows once more, lifting the elbows up like a box above the head, reaching up and out of the waist. And then we're going to turn towards the right, just from the core. So keeping everything facing forward as you turn towards the right. And then as you release the arms long, take the right arm underneath the left to go Ruta Eagle Wrap. Release through the shoulders, come high on the knees, palm to palm as we reach up. And then exhale, bring it all in. Look back at your right side. Take that left hand across the thigh, right hand behind you. And then plant that right hand as you lift the hips, lift the hand, maybe even lift the gaze. Gently release. Other side, try and change which elbow to hand grip. Elbows above the head. Find the lift, twisting towards the left, this time from your core. Releasing the arms out long. Taking the left elbow underneath the right Garuda Eagle Wrap. From here come high in the knees. Find a gentle stretch to the front side of the body, lifting the chest, lifting the gaze. Exhale, hips back down to heels, elbows into the ribs, chin to chest. Look towards the left, right hand on the outside of the knee, left hand behind you. Maybe open the fingertips for your twist. And then as you press into your left hand, lift the hips, lift the chest, lift the arm. And relax back down. From here, both hands behind you, fingertips face backwards. Lifting through the hips, the chest, the shoulders, the gaze. And Back down. Pressing yourself forward into tabletop. Knees under hips, wrists on the shoulders, spreading through the palms, suctioning the fingers to the mat. Nice and even through the pelvis as you reach that right leg back. From here, reach the heel back as you lift the chest forward, a gentle arch. And then knee to nose as you curl and look at your knee. And see if you can take that right knee around the left knee. Maybe you want to scooch your knees back into center. And now with the right knee cross on top of the left, maybe you want to spread the feet a little. And then we're going to do a clockwise circle of the hips. Maybe we can do a couple of cat cows here with the knees crossed. And 
And from here, left foot shoots backwards, so the knee and the heels align. And then take the right foot across, sort of like a figure four shape. So the foot and the knee is on the ground, resting on the ground. Come up onto the fingertips and just feel that into the hips. And then from there, palms back down as we open up that right leg, maybe to the earth. Maybe you can scooch that left foot back a bit to give us some balance to open the hips, to open the chest, to open the arm. Staying here, otherwise you're floating that right leg, seeing how that feels. And then coming on back down to tabletop. Free movement here, let it all go. Movement through the head, neck and shoulders, through the hips, through the torso, through the elbows. And to the other side, left leg is back. Heel is to one side of the room. Chest is to the other as we gently arch. And then knee to nose, curling in. Shimmy that left knee across and on top of the right. Taking knees back into the centre. And let's do an anti-clockwise circle of the hips. Breathe deeply into the belly, deeply into the chest. A couple of cat cows with the knees twisted. And from here, taking that right foot straight back, sliding that left knee and foot across like a figure four. Coming high up onto the fingertips, feeling the openness of the pelvis. And as the palms come back down, we're going to bring the left leg all the way back. Maybe you turn the right foot out for a bit of balance and then lift the chest to lift the arm, lift the gaze. And stay here or we'll lift the leg for a bit of balance for three, two, one and back to your tabletop. From here, let's tuck the toes and come to our downward facing dog. Lifting through the knees and the hips, pressing back, pedaling through the feet, pedaling through the knees, finding space. In your down dog, lifting through that right leg. And then as you bend through the right knee and open the hip, you're going to think about that figure four shape in your downward dog. So we're going to bend the left knee and then sort of shimmy and scoop and swoop that right foot on top of the left, keeping the left knee bent so you don't hyperextend through the standing leg. And then shift the hips back to get a big open stretch across the hips. When you're ready, looking forward, and then pounce that right foot between the hands, dropping the left knee. Hands to the top of that right knee. Inhale high. Hands come into the elbows, into that box shape. And let's twist to the right from the belly. Open the arms, and then take right arm under left to go rooting. Shoulders away from ears. Inhale as we reach up, hips forward. Exhale, bring both elbows down on the inside of that right knee. As you do so, so unravel, right hand down, left hand up, but we're moving the left foot all the way in. So it's a pivot. So you lift the left foot up, turn the knee out and the foot in, so you can sit on your heel. And we're finding a nice hip opening. So bring the elbow on the inside of the knee, pushing open the knee, and then looking up towards our left hand. Looking down towards the left side of our mat, pressing off the right foot, left hand down, back into a balance. That's three. 
but two. One. This time we look down at our left hand, right hand to the mat. Shift everything around to the other side. Back to your downward dog. Pedaling it out. It's flipping the script, changing our perspective, trying something new. And let's lift the left leg to the sky all the way up. Bend the knee and let's open the hip here. I'm thinking about that figure four shape in downward dog on this side. So as you bend the right knee, take the left foot over, flexing the right foot to protect the knee. Bending the right knee to shift the hips back and open all across the outside, the lower back for three, for two, one, looking forward, pouncing that left foot between the hands, dropping the right knee down. So low lunge on the other side, hands high, hands on those elbows, twisting towards the left from the center. Releasing those arms, extend them wide, left arm underneath, right go, river eagle wrap. Inhale, reach those hands high. Exhale, elbows down the inside of the knee. Unwrap those hands, left hand down. And as the right hand comes up, we bring the right foot up, turn the knee out and foot in. Sit on that heel as we open and extend that right arm. Really press the arm into the knee, the left arm into the left knee, as you find an openness of the hips. Breathing here. And as you look down at the right side of the mat, pushing off that left side, come to balance. Trusting the body. Looking down at the mat, left hand down, pressing yourself back up and down with the back to face the original top of the mat. Let's do a modified flow together. So into our plank, nice and strong and stacked. Drop the knees, hips towards the heels. Slither forward into our baby cobra, hips down. Chest lifts, elbows in. Back through child's pose to our downward dog. Big breath here. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Right foot through the sky. Bend the knee, step it through to the top of the mat to high lunge, both toes facing forward, right knee bends. Hands in the elbows, find that extra lift. And from the center, strong center, maybe there's a micro bend in the left knee, so make sure that you're not over arching through the low back. Twist towards the right from here. Extend through the arms, right arm underneath the left, or root Extend the hands high, find the micro back bend. And then as you come forward, elbows down the inside of the knee. For humble. And then as you come up, bend the left knee. And think about springing forward into a warrior three. So you're gonna send the body weight forward, lift through the back leg. Arms go forward, heel goes back for three, two, one. We step way back with the left leg, unravel the arms, warrior two, facing the front of the mat. Come high in the toes, sink deeper through the hips, drop that left heel, flip the right palm, reverse. Back to warrior two, straighten the right leg, turn to face the left side of the mat. 
And then turn the left heel out, warrior two facing the back of the mat. Lift the left heel, sink deep through that left hip socket, and then sink the heel to reverse. Coming back, straighten the left leg, both toes to face the same side once more. And then as we take the right arm underneath the left, bend the knees, open through the chest, wide leg forward fold with eagle wrap. So toes will face in, heels will face out as you come down. And then you're just finding openness. You can move and shift the hands left to right. Release through the head. And maybe you want to move your feet in a little bit because as you unwrap once of your arms, you're going to find a cross connection to your opposite leg. So your left arm should be on top of your right and you're finding connection to the opposite leg here and finding a stretch across the back. This might be enough. If you want more, you can bend through the knees a little and then start to take your body underneath. So you're going to sort of spiral and twist yourself under your arm for three, for two, one jelly release, release the arms, bend the knees, roll up, right foot to the top of the mat, bend into your warrior two. One more reverse for good luck. And then hands frame that right foot. The right foot comes back on top of the left. Go rude eagle wrap of the legs this time. From here, come to the outside of your left foot. Stack your left shoulder on top of your left wrist and reach your right arm to the sky as you unravel into a side plank. Right leg can float or stack for three, for two, one. Back to your table, to your plank, excuse me. Drop your knees, chest lowers, hips lower, baby cobra. And then back through child's pose, find your downward dog. Inhale. Exhale, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, left leg to the sky, plant it between the hands at the top of the mat, both toes face forward, and lunge, hands and the elbows, make sure the knees above the ankles. Gentle bend in that right knee to find a release through the lower back. And through the core, we twist to the left. Release the arms long. Left arm underneath the right, Garuda Eagle Wrap. Solo through the feet as we root to rise, the elbows and the palms high. Elbows down the inside of the knee, just for a brief moment. Ready to take flight as we lift up, bend the right knee, and shift the weight forward into our warrior three. Palms reach forward, leg reaches back. Micro bend in the standing leg. And then that right leg reaches way back, unravel the arms here in warrior two. Left knee bends on top of left ankle. Take a deep breath. Deep breath. Left heel lifts to sink the hips down and then keep that depth as you lower the left heel. Flip the left palm in reverse. As you come back, straighten the left leg, turn everything to the right, hands high to the back of the mat, warrior two. Lift the right heel, sink it down, keep the depth. 
Keep that solid base as you lower the heel. Flip the right palm in reverse. Back to warrior two. Straighten that right leg. Turn the toes to face the front hands high. Left arm underneath the right this time. Wide leg forward fold. Toes face in, heels face out. Lifting, finding space, and then hinging at the hips, bending the knees, and letting it all go as you forward fold. Deeply breathe here. Let's wave the arms left to right on your mat. Finding space between each vertebrae. Letting gravity do its healing work on the body. And then taking the feet, scooching them together a little. And then we'll do one unwrap of the arms, opposite hand, opposite foot, and then use this to open through the back of the heart. You can either stay here, or if you want to use it for the twist, you can sort of twist and turn and corkscrew underneath yourself. And through. Bend the arms for two. One. Unwind yourself. And release the arms. Turn the feet out. Turn the knees in. Rolling up. Or into back to the front of the mat. Reverse, and frame that left foot. Left foot crosses on top of the right into Garuda Eagle Wrap. And then as we come forward into our plank, come to the outside of the right foot. Lift the left hand as you unravel into your side plank on the other side. For three, for two, and stack the heels back into your plank. Let's do a full chaturanga here. Elbows in, pressing forward, knees down, top of the toes, pressing back into your down dog. Let's do that once more, a little bit more fluidly. Right leg to the sky. Knee to the chest, step it between the hands. Crescent lunge, hands and the elbows. Find the lift. Exhale, twisting to the right. Extend the arms. Right arm underneath the left. Lifting the elbows. Down the inside of the knee. Lifting up once more. Coming to your warrior three. Reaching forward. Leg is back. Left leg all the way back, unravel warrior two. Reverse. Exhale. Straighten the right leg, come through center. Warrior two to the back. Reverse. Warrior two. Back through center. We'll skip the forward fold and go straight to warrior two. Reverse. Hands frame that right foot. Garuda equal wrap, right leg on top. Coming to the outside of the left foot as you stack. Maybe you stay here, or maybe the right foot steps behind and you come to wild thing. Wherever you are, flipping yourself back into your plank and finding Chaturanga. Left side, left side lifts. Crescent lunge, arms and elbows. Twist to the left, arms extend. Left arm under, inhale up. Exhale down, inside the knee. Inhale up. Exhale, fly forward into your warrior three. Egon 
the sky. Step your right leg back. Open your wings, warrior two. Reverse. Through center, straight arms, straight legs. To the back, warrior two. Reverse. Back to the front. Warrior two. Reverse. Hands to the ground. Left leg, Garuda Eagle Wrap. Come to the outside of the right foot. Extend the leg. Staying here or stepping the left foot behind. Coming into your wild thing. Big breath. Flipping it around. Flow through or rest. Bend the knees, look towards the hands, walking, stepping, floating to the top of the mat to find your inhale, to find your forward fold. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale down through breath. And take a couple of breaths in mountain pose, palms facing out. Breathing deeply through the chest. Feeling yourself ground through both feet, both heels. Micro bend the knees to really find yourself earthed. An energy free flowing into the body and out of the body. Closing down the eyes, broadening across the chest. Connecting, rooting down. So from here, grounding through the left heel as we lift the right knee high. Pressing through that right heel forward, back through centre. Kick that right leg back, kick those hands forward. Back through centre, again. Right leg forward, right leg back. Back through centre. This time we lift the right hand knee and we're going to take the right knee across and come to Garuda Eagle Wrap. You can do one wrap or one wrap with the right foot on the ground or two with the right foot behind, right arm underneath. Sink the hips. You can stay here or you can really curl yourself in. Find yourself twisted, wind, wound up. Connected, finding your center, really condensed in. And from this place, grow out. So, press through the left leg, unwind the legs, unwind the arms, left hand down, right leg back, open, unwind, expand into your half moon. Adha Jangasana. You can stay here or you can bend the knee. Foot. And from this place of expansion, can you take the right hand down and think about a standing split or standing L. And then as you bend the left knee, take the right knee behind the left knee and then open it back out again. Open the hip. Again, bend both knees, right knee behind the left. Crouch it all in, twist all up, and then open it out, reach it out, expand your wings. One more time. Reach it all up. And this time, as the right knee comes behind, step the right foot down, bend both knees, and roll up to standing. So your legs are going to be crossed, left foot in front of the right. Scooch that right knee behind your left knee, so you can bend the knees together. Hands back in the elbows, and we're going to side bend towards the left for three. The right leg is straight, the left knee is bent for two. Four, come back to stillness, come back to straightness, and across the feet. And we'll do the other 
side. Left knee rises. Left foot forward. Left knee in. Left leg back as the hands move forward. Back to center. Tap the foot down if you need. You've got two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale out. Bring it in. Release it out. Last time. This time knees comes up and over into Garuda, eagle wrap. Left arm under. Bring it all in. Find yourself in a tight, compact ball. Rounded. Engaged. Strong. Your little ball ready to grow, just like a seed in the ground, in the darkness, ready to open up. Ardha Chandrasana, right hand down, left hand high. Expand yourself out to grow into a beautiful flower. Feel your body blooming in all directions. Maybe you grab the foot if you did so on the other side. From here, left hand down, bend the standing knee to bring the left knee behind. So that's one. Inhale, open the left hip. Exhale, tie behind. Two. Three. Open up. And as you step the foot behind, left knee behind, right? Bend the knees a lot to come to standing. All the way up. Hands and the elbows. And then right knee bends, left leg straight as you deeply bend towards the right. For three, for two, for one, release. Step the feet together, let's do a flow through to move all that energy. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, forward fold, lift. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to earth. Step, float, or walk the feet back. Flowing through. Back to your downward dog. Take a deep breath here, inhaling through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more like that. Bend the knees, look towards the hands, walk, step, float, pounce, fly to the top of the mat to find your inhale, to enjoy your forward fold, to come all the way up to standing. Got one more standing sequence here. And lift the right knee high, hug it in towards the chest. And we're either going to just take the left hand to the sky and lift the chest and lift the gaze, or if this isn't your practice, right uh, piece fingers to right toe and it can extend that right leg forward. Wherever you are, finding the lift, finding the length. Find the evenness of the pelvis. Maybe you want to drop down through that right hip. And then taking that left hand across the outside of the foot or the outside of the knee, you're going to come to twist to your right. Deep breaths. Keeping the foot where it is, take that right hand up and over so you're crossing your hands on either side of the foot or the knee. Now we're going to bend through the left knee, super slow, super slow, super slow, keeping that right leg all the way down to the ground. Well done. Take that left knee out to the side, and we're going to do that twist again on the ground. So keeping that left hand where it is, right hand behind you, twisting, and maybe coming down with the elbow, and just rolling yourself back. I like to do some rocking here to massage through my glutes, my IT. And as you gently press yourself back up, Janu Sushasana. So bringing right leg is long, left leg, left foot is in the inside of that right leg. And 
hands back into the elbows, twisting towards the left. And then taking that right hand on the outside of the left knee, keeping that left hand holding the head. And we're gonna twist here and then lean away from the left knee. Lean the head into the hands and find that extra length, find that extra twist for three. Two. And four. Gently unwind. And then we're gonna forward fold over that right leg. So you can just forward fold chest to foot with the palms facing upwards. Or if you want a, a bit of a twist here, you can bring your left hand on the outside of the foot, right hand behind and just bring your chest square down along that right leg as you drop the head towards the outside. Inhale into the back of the neck. Inhale to the back of the shoulders. Inhale to the ribs. Go fully. Three, two, one. We unwind. Take the left hand behind us. Come high in the knee. Lift the hips. Lift the chest. Lift the gaze. Open up. The right leg's in front, bend the right knee, hands to the earth, kick the left leg up into your standing split. You can stay here or you can take your left hand where your left foot would be if you're standing in Tadasana and take your right hand behind your right calf and then see if you can grab the elbow, the bent elbow of your left hand. So it's the same box shape with that right arm. And you're sort of really making sure your hips square off for three, for two, one, release. Feet together, rolling up to stand. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, through prayer. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, down through prayer. Got the other side to go. So ground through your right foot, lift your left knee high. Hold your left knee with your left hand, right hand to the sky. Staying here if you did so on the first side or peace fingers from the left big toe and extend. Hips are even, standing leg is strong. Chest is lifted. Maybe even the gaze is lifted. That's right. Foot presses into the hand. Hand pulls the foot back gently. Two. One. Let's cross the right hand to the outside of the left foot or the left knee as we twist towards the left. From the core. That's right. Two. One, left hand up and over to the inside of the foot. Ready to lower yourself down. So strong standing legs, strong back. Bending to the right knee. Lowering yourself down slowly onto the ground. Beautiful work. Foot in, knee drops out. Left hand behind to your twist. And then drop the left hand and maybe elbow down. Maybe there's a gentle swinging, or maybe you're in stillness, finding the lift of the chest. And as you help yourself back up, you're in Janusasana, head to knee pose on the other side. So right foot is onto the inside of the left knee. Flex through that left foot. Hands and the elbows, reach them up. 
twist to the right. Take the left hand on the outside of that right knee. Keep the head in that right hand. Just sort of cut the back of your skull. And as you do so, you're leaning away from that right knee, finding length. The left arm is straight, so you can really pull the body away. Find that deep traction release. And then let the head go in the hand and see if you can find some softness in the neck. that forward fold. So feel free just to release forward fold over that left leg or if you did the twist it's right hand on the outside and the leg left hand behind maybe propping up on the fingertips. Inhale to find length the chest reaches forward. Exhale as you bow down. Find yourself radiating out. That right hip. Breathing into the muscles of the face and the jaw. Softening through the head. Don't want it to be heavy. Lifting it up, opening it all up, and then lowering yourself back down onto the mat. So from here, I'm going to shake out through the knees. I'm going to do Hachimoto, so hips are back, knees bend, connect your chest with your thighs, and then allow your hands and your feet or your calves or your knees to connect. And then as you release, allow this to be position one. And then keeping the connection of belly to thigh, begin to straighten the legs. Only go so far as it feels like a release because we're in a cool down. So we don't want to strain. And we just want to send releasing messages to our nervous system. Here, palms facing down. 
fingertips and just touch the heels. And as we lift the hips, we can interlace the palms, roll the up arms underneath and find space three, two, one, release and roll down. So check in with the body and say for your unwinding practice, what would serve you better to do one more of those bridges or if you're really craving for a wheel, you can do that for the second time. So choosing your own adventure, either coming back up into your bridge or if you have wheel in your practice and you feel strong and that would serve you, you can come all the way up. Wherever you are, finding your breath, sending it into your belly, sending it into your chest. Slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, unwind, feet as wide as the mat, knees knocking towards each other. We're going to come into a couple of twists just to round up our practice, taking the right knee, wrapping it round, eagle and garuda. Hands can be out like a T, and then drop the knees to the right. So I like to scooch my hips to the right, sorry, and knees to the left. And then look towards the right. So right thighs on top, knees are pointed into the left, head is to the right. Maybe the left arm is helping those knees down. direction, keeping the knees, bring the hips back to center, can you simply bring your feet to the left and knees to the right, it might only be a very gentle opening, but just see what it feels like on the outer hips, if it doesn't feel right, you can just have unravel the knees, just see if we can switch it up a little, twist in the opposite direction, find a different twist to we used to. Unravel everything and shoot yourself into a star shape. So legs wide, arms wide, find space, shoot yourself into four directions. Take up as much space as you can, feel like a star shining in all directions. From being wound up now, we unwind. Find space, find freedom. Do the other side, left knee wraps on top of the right. Arms can be out to the side. Hips to the left, knees to the right, and head turns to the left. I'm going to use my right arm to help those knees down. The hips will float in however it helps your body. Long breaths. Healing nature of being wound up to be able to give yourself a hug. To feel that touch. To feel the self reflecting on the self. Other side, hips back to center. Scoot yourself to the right. So hips to the right, knees to the left. You might only just be a very tiny little bit. Just enough to open through the right side. Again, unwind if it doesn't feel right for you. It's experimenting with the body, experimenting with poses, with feeling, experimenting with strength and with softness. When you 
you are ready. Let's unwind for the final time. Find that star shape, legs wide, arms out, and feel big. Feel the magnitude of yourself. The beauty radiating from the center outwards. Feeling permission to be bright, to be bold. And for your Shavasana, may stay in this star shape if that feels serving. Come back to your comfortable Shavasana, however that falls. Focusing on all parts of the body that are connected to the earth softening and melting those places. Trusting that the earth is holding you. Trusting that you're supported and everything is as it should be. Stretch above the head, nice and long, nice and strong, and then dropping bent knees, rolling to your side in the fetal position, and take a couple of breaths here. Reflecting on any sensations in the body. with you as you roll up to a comfortable seated position, legs crossed, hands in prayer. I'm taking the palms to the forehead as a reminder to keep our thoughts open, honest and kind throughout these days. Dropping the palms to the lips as a reminder to keep our words compassionate. to the heart center, feeling into the unconditional love within the eternal joy, and knowing that that love is there for us each and every time we need it. Thank you so much for joining me in the practice. Namaste. Namaste.